we continue our work with catalogs and we will open click on open and open engine select that and open well we will see how we can use catalogs and parts like these like this engine first of all I will left drag uh, this cylinder to the catalog but as you can see uh, if you if we look at the, the anchor you see a, a magnet this means that uh, you can drag this along surface surfaces so if I left drag this one as you can see they follow the surface and then if I drop it in the catalog and we see that this part is linked to an external file so I click on no because I don't want that one to be linked to an external file and as you can see the cylinder was placed in this direction in the catalog and that is not what I want so I will uh, right click on it and then I will uh, click on delete and that's why it's important that the, the anchor is set to disallow drag so you can't drag it in the 3D scene now it's possible but you can still drag it to the and drop it in the catalog and when you do that well I click now uh, you got your cylinder in the uh, in right direction and it's the same with the crankcase and this is set this one is set to disallow drag because it was the first part we dropped in the scene when when we made our uh, sterling engine so I will left drag this one and drop it in the catalog I click now and uh, then we will change name on this one cylinder change it to cylinder gray and the crankcase will be crankcase blue and then we will do like this we go to our ca catalog colors and we will change color we will find a color at the bottom of this catalog black we drag and drop it on the cylinder like that well I think it was too black and we perhaps we will change it to gray 10 yes I think it's a little bit better a little bit brighter then we will drag another color we can choose a thistle drop it on the crankcase light pink well perhaps that's a nice color well, it's good for now we go to our, our my catalog and then we will uh, do like this we will left drag this cylinder and we will drop it in the catalog like so and click no and then we'll change name cylinder and then black and then we we'll left drag this crankcase drop it in the catalog click no and then we change name to crankcase uh, pink Mm -hmm, like so now we have different parts in our catalogs well it's the same design but uh, in different colors now we can do like this we can uh, replace that black cylinder with uh, the gray cylinder and we can do the like this we press the control key left drag and drop it on this black cylinder and it is replaced so press the control key and left drag uh, and drop it on the other and this works because uh, it, because the anchor is placed in the same place in both cylinders. If you adjust that anchor a little bit, it will not be placed in in right position. So that's why it's important that the anchor is in right place. And we do the same with the crankcase. We uh, left drag, press the control key and then we left drag this crankcase blue and drop it on the pink one and it is replaced in this way you can build different variations in the catalog and you can drag and drop them to replace parts in the in the scene in addition we can do like this we choose the visualization tab and then the fill eyedropper command and we will select a color from uh, from the cylinder left click on that one and we drop it in the in the catalog then we press escape and select the fill eyedropper again and we select this color and drop it in the catalog press escape now we got two colors in the catalog and then we will replace the blue crankcase with the pink one we drag and drop 
and we select the field eyedropper command and select this color, drop it in the catalog. And now we can reuse these colors that we have stored in the catalog. And we can also do like this. We select the color color catalog and we will choose a color. Uh, we'll see. Perhaps uh, this one. We right click on that color. We click on copy. Go to my, my catalog and then we right click in this catalog and click paste. And we have our new color to color with. So you can uh, copy between catalogs, you can drag and drop colors from the scene to the catalog. And this means that you can store lots of objects in, in a catalog. So you can build a, a large palette of objects with parts and, and colors and so on. You should see the catalogs as different types of palettes that you can use. And as you can see, there is a, a countless possibilities when using the catalogs and it's a, a very powerful tool in your construction so you, when you build parts in the scene. I close this one and I won't save. Well there's another thing we will look at uh, it's about uh, to manage the catalogs is that you can edit the parts or objects in this uh, catalog. For instance if you want to we right click on this color and edit catalog item then we can change the color and we can change the settings for that color. So that's one possibility. And we can also do like this. We can right click on this part. Uh, no, we we'll choose this one so we can see the menu. Select the right click on that part and then we can edit uh, this item, edit catalog item. Click on that one. And now we can see this, uh, this part in part mode and we can also do some changes on it if we want. So that's a possibility, but we will close this one. We will do another thing and not save. And as you remember that this one, uh, well, uh, this one is a part and that one is uh, an IntelliShape. If we right click on this IntelliShape and click on edit catalog item, we will see this IntelliShape in part mode. So that's how it works. So you can do uh, changes on this one, but if you do that, it will not be treated as an IntelliShape as it is done now. When you drag it into the scene, for instance, if you put a hole in in this in this IntelliShape, it will be treated as part as a part in when you drag it into the 3D scene. And right now, if you look in the scene browser, you will see that uh, you click on the plus sign, it contain uh, of one feature, one IntelliShape. But if you place a hole in that one, it will contain two IntelliShapes. Well, I won't save. I will show you an example. We we left drag a part into the scene and then we will left drag an IntelliShape and drop it in the center of that one. And it is an IntelliShape. We delete it. Then we right click on this IntelliShape and, and click on Edit Catalog Item. And then we go to Shapes and H Cylinder, drop it in the center. Drag a little bit like that and that one too. So now we have made a change. And we close this one and click Yes to save. And we go to My, my Catalog and we left drag, drop it in the center, and now it is treated as a part. Now you see there are two parts in the scene. And the reason is we did a hole in it, so it is treated as a part. And that's something to remember if you want to do changes on the part in the catalog. Well, I will um, select this one too, and I will delete it. And there's another thing to look at in the catalog. You can move parts in, in the catalog, uh, rearrange the placement, and to do that, you press shift key and left drag, and then you drop the part where you want it. In that way, you rearrange the order in the within the, the catalog. So press shift key and left drag and drop. Then you can move the parts and place it where you want it. And that's the possibility you have. Well, that's a little bit about catalog management.